and this is just for aesthetics. It doesn't really matter if it happens or not. But I try to have them upright so that they're all, they're all even about the same size, so they cook about the same. And then... About nine seconds is what it takes. And um, I'm just pulling it away from the edge. And it looks great. So here we go. Half a cup. I'm going to just take my knife wherever I put it. This one? Oh. And I'm just going to cut it in half. Sorry. I started making pies when I was 12 years old. And um, loved it. As I take off these little edges that are kind of Mm. Iffy. Right there. And I'm going to put it down in the pan. And I'm going to trim it right to the edge of the pie pan. Unceremoniously dump it. But then I'm going to work it to where I want it. And see, I'm pulling this apart so it oh. looks sort of like a volcano. But you're still going to have the um, the edges. Got to be cold. But I imagine the, I mean, if this was a plain butter crust, you'd have to work it even more to kind of get it manageable. So that's where mm -hmm. the shortening comes. Cha baby. <laughs> So it's starting to stick really bad, so I'm going to flip the whole thing. Just a light touch. And then... Turn my knife. How I want this to go on here, and I kind of want it to go this way, so I'm going to hold it and hope for the best. Perfect. Or you can make a single crust pie with the leftovers and take it to a friend. And just tap this down. This is sealing the apples in so that the juice doesn't roll all over the place, hopefully. Then I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna roll it up all the mm. way around, okay? So you're gonna double pinch it, both the inside and the outside. Whip up my egg wash again. Now, I made a mistake one time. I put mm. egg wash on the edge. Mm. Don't do it because it burns. Right. No matter what you do. Okay, so I start at the center and pull the egg wash out, out from there because it wants to run to the center. So if I start in the center and pull out, then I don't get it piling up. 